today is you know we've been working on the big gardens we've got it all fully done other than planning we've got everything prepped ready to rock now to what we call the permaculture pig garden this was where they were if you remember right in front of their old pig uh you know uh old permanent paddocks um you remember the orchard of course the bees so we're coming through with cardboard you can pick up cardboard at any old hardware store or any old appliance store they'll have cardboard boxes for days so i'm just cutting up putting them on walkways now silas tarp has been on this so it is literally squishy good i mean it's in great shape no grass whatsoever in the whole thing you can see the line running through there which you can't see the line now because i got cardboard boxes now how do you get your cardboard to lay down first of all you step on it secondly you wet it so basically once i get the rose here i will soak it down and then there's the bark we'll put the bark on it that'll be our walkways and from there we'll start wheelbarrow loading some good quality topsoil on top of this nitrogen rich uh garden that has been filled with a lot of uh fertilizer by pigs and chickens so we're going to go ahead and finish this up you think about prepping we prepped this garden basically starting eight months or six months ago with uh chickens with our meat chickens our meat birds stayed here this is where they were with their netting it was pure grass they broke it down then the pigs came in and rooted it up so we had natural tilling going on that never took a tiller it, it just took natural uh implements getting laid down by their manure and actually just uh natural scratching and natural digging by pigs so I think this is going to work out good. We're going to go ahead. This is going to be really more for our strawberries and for some of our winter stuff next year. But we're going to plant some other things in here. We got some peppers. Misty wants to plant stuff that's closer to the house. Our bigger gardens, of course, will have everything else. So let's get this done. We got a few more to cut, a few more boxes to get done. Um, we're going to probably end up with about 10 rows or so. Not a huge garden here, but this is just going to be basically an extra garden. Okay, so you can see what we're doing now. We're kind of getting it to a next step. So we've got the cardboard down. We've wet this right here. It's pretty wet underneath there. We've got bark going along those. Now it looks kind of ugly right now, and that's okay because what we'll do is come back on the rows with the wheelbarrow and put uh, topsoil or compost and topsoil all down these rows. So basically, you get a finished product. Now, why do we have the extra cardboard sticking on the side? Uh, you can never have too much cardboard because pretty much on the sides is not where I'm growing. I'm growing in the middle. And that'll help just those weeds kind of coming from between the topsoil and the bark and shooting up. It allows me to be able to have a little bit more buffer there. So I've got a little bit more barking to do. And of course, we got to get some more cardboard for over here, which we've got a few pieces, I think, somewhere. I just find them. Basically, it's, uh, we're going to go and get this other on here. we got to wet these, wet that back piece right there, and go on and put some more on there. So uh, it's going a little bit quicker than I thought it would be. So that makes me feel a little bit better. But I know when we start doing the wheelbarrow of, Top soil will probably slow down just a little bit so um but hey it's it's coming along and let's see what else we can get done before it gets dark we are going to stop for the night we've got some you see the bark Top soil on about three and then we've got the other dump so this is my second night to work on after work um it's coming along it's starting to look really good you can see the, the cardboard under it. so again steps to starting a, a garden bed from scratch using no-till methods um we put step one put chickens here step two put pigs here step three Put chickens back here because what the chickens does is they help spread out what the pigs broke up so the chickens help get the original grass off the pigs help till it and then the chickens help scatter it back out and lay it back down neatly so then we have a bare square basically then silage tarp it we silage tarp this for about a month and a half two months the idea would be three or four months most likely the most of our garden has been six to eight months uh, but we, we tarp this for about a, you know, uh, a little bit anyway. So once you tarp it, you take it up, it makes it look great. You're going to have a perfect square, no grass in there. We laid cardboard down. You could lay it all the way across. We didn't want to lay it over the fine compost and fertilizer that we got from the chickens and pork. 
So what we did was we laid cardboard just on the rows, if you remember, where our walking paths are. So that way it helps with weed suppression, helps with grass, and helps uh, have a good clean walkway. So then we come back and put bark on the cardboard. Now we watered the bark, I mean watered the cardboard, and then also sprayed some of the bark that helps keep it, uh, you know, adhere it to the ground. So then we have our walkway. So now we're coming back and you see we still got raw, raw good dirt underneath here that's been fertilized heavy. And then we're coming back and putting big piles of topsoil. And then we're coming back and spreading it on top of the edge of the cardboard and also in the main row. And of course, um, kind of finality looks like that. Now what we'll do with this, we're actually gonna put some row covers on some of this because some of this will be perennial for strawberries. But we wanted to get it prepped. Again, by prepping this now, it helps enjoy your garden more than just fight it all year. Uh, we'll come back around the edge here and burn all this again. And then that way we have a good clean edge. So. Turn it on mist setting so he wouldn't spray me. Spray it. Two rows are done. All strawberries. We're just gonna start on the third row. All of these we have bought. But I do have some very small plants that I started in the greenhouse um, from packages of groups of roots that are doing really well. It's only about a handful of them in there, but we're gonna bring those out and add those in as well. We're gonna get those in the ground. We have several extra rows. We're just gonna fill up as many strawberries as we can. Well, we had a little change of plans. This was supposed to be our kind of next year's winter garden. <laughs> Daddy's rushing it. And we changed our mind. So now it's it started off being one row of strawberries. Then we'll just do two. Now we're up to three. And we have two more flats. Plus when they ground. So I'm thinking this is just gonna be a strawberry patch. What do you think? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> this, this one had good roots on the bottom. You see that? Make sure you're soaking, you know what you're soaking, Eliza Bell. No, he doesn't. Mama's and me is already soaking. Soaked them. Break the door. I'm the bark right now. I mean, I guess. And cat not lady. be left with the odd card, the cat lady at the end. So you are the cat lady. So the old cat lady is the winner? Because she's no, the coolest. Loser. So she's the coolest? I just I got really good. And then give me that one. Give me that one. Oh, that's scary. This one. I just got Wait, hold on. Hey, if I don't have one card, I can't make any pairs. Where's the pick for me? It's an aisle. Where's the pick for me? There you are. Your mama draws for me.